Welcome back to the Goats and Sheep podcast. We've all been asking me, doing my bloody head in, when are you going to get the YouTube started again? I've been waiting for the new season. There's plenty to discuss today. In today's uh, podcast, we're going to be discussing the transfer market. Obviously, it's been shaken to the core by the Saudi Arabian PIF, uh, the fund more or less. Then we're going to discuss the Premier League's Manchester United, Arsenal, City, Chelsea, Liverpool, how they've done so far in the Premier League. And then we'll give our predictions for the top five European leagues. Uh, if there is any top five European leagues anymore, I think the Saudi league has overtaken, bro. We can start there if you want. I think the Saudi league, personally, in my opinion, everyone's hating on it. I think it'll be top five. I think it already is in terms of... It might, it might be top five. No, no, I've said it on my TikTok, so I'm going to back my point up in more depth here. What I said was, let's be real fast. Bro, Turkish league, you name me the players, God. Name me the players in the Turkish league that are recognisable. That's all I mean. I don't mean if they're sick or not. Who's recognisable? Zaha. Zaha won. Brazil. He's retired, so. Is he offic- officially done? Yeah, I did the streets video on him and I'm done. He's gone. So, Ozzy was one. Arda Gula was one. Arda Gula is out of Madrid now. He's in Madrid. I'll give you two that you don't know have gone. Jacko. Jacko. Yeah. And Jacko. Jacko. Uh, Jacko is at Fenerbahce this season. Uh, do some Tadic has moved to Fenerbahce as well. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, right. Okay. Chamberlain's gone to Besiktas. Bro, they're not superstars, they're just players that we recognise. Right, alright, Turkish League is not as recognisable as the Saudi League. We've just done it. If anyone's got any more recognisable players than that, you know, hit, hit us up in the comments. Feel free to find Feel free, yeah, yeah obviously, uh, we're just doing it off the top of our head. Uh, so, bad is also, we can't really use this phone, to be honest. Next time, we will have our phones and laptops out, so we don't get any mistakes. Uh, the Dutch League, so, naming players in that, that's what I'm going to say. Daily Blind. Yeah, who else? Uh, Ajax, Edson. Oh, just, uh, he's, he's, um, he's joining um, West Ham. He's joining so he's going there. Chavi Simon is at PSV. Chavi Simon uh, PSG. PSG. Come back. Um, they've signed Gakpo, Liverpool. Zidane Kwa has gone back. I think he's gone back. What's his name? The one that used to play for Tottenham. Who? The winger man. I forgot his name. The Dutch one. He's back at. I forgot his name. Uh, Bergwijn, Bergwijn, yeah, yeah, Bergwijn, Bergwijn, Bergwijn. Bergwijn. Yeah, but all right. Forget yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So them two, I've just eliminated them two for you. Yeah. Okay. German league. Just the Bayern players, really. Dortmund players. All right. Um, Other than them. Paulo Moani, uh, the right back that we were after. Florian Wurtz. Uh, Florian Wurtz. Uh, all right. I'd say the Germans still have got brothers, me. The Bender brothers. Too. No, 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 no. They, <laughs> they've got. <laughs> we don't know who they are. That's it. What is that? All right, see, I'd say the Germans a little bit ahead of the Saudi league, yeah? I'm not going to, you know, hype it too much. So that's German, I'll give it there. Yeah. But there's more, more recognisable players and unrecognisable teams at the moment. Yeah. French league. Bro, I think Saudi have got more recognisable stars now than France. PSG, have, they've, they've got no, no more. PSG have lost the main talent, haven't they? Neymar's gone. Uh, well, he wants to go, apparently. We, we might hit on that if we feel like it. Mbappe is going, we're gonna, let's just talk on that, so Benifi is going, obviously I'd say he's going to ride out over the year uh, at PSG and then he's off to Madrid Is this a historical standoff year though, where he doesn't get to play? Or with PSG book him? I think personally, they need him Yeah, mm-hmm. because on a league under walk in the park, even that Even that without him, him I think without him, they'll, they'll probably flop that And then the Champions League, they've never won it how can they expect to win it without the best player in the world or arguably the best player in the world? How are they going to win it? They're not going to win it. Let the, Neymar wants to leave. I feel pretty talking winning that last season. I'll say again. I'll be honest. Mbappe, Mbappe has left. He's been gone for yeah, a, yeah. He's been gone for a year. They've exiled him. He's been gone for a year since they put that daft contract in front of yeah, him. Yeah, percent. All them, you know, things that you had, you know, you had loads of privileges. Too many luxuries and privileges, man. So, you can't get that to a footballer. So yeah, um, I'm messy. Messi well, is gone, gone, gone on his way, he's but that is on his way, I've heard. Yeah, gone? no, no, I put a post up on that. Al Hilal, apparently, they've agreed personal terms, but Nasser Al Khalafi is holding out for more than 30 million for him. But that is for me, he never lived up to the hype. He stayed at PSG. A lot of players didn't live up to the hype at PSG. No, Who? but this guy was the worst. Who did live up to the he embodies it because Who? he joined at the start and he's still there. Who did live up though? At PSG. Zlatan. Zlatan. Ibrahimovic, that's it. Now when you look at it, and Cavani, yeah. Uh, Neymar in the league, okay, but he wasn't bought for the league, he was bought for Champions, Champions League. league. Lordy, yeah. And obviously, you know, we've spoken about Neymar before. So, PSG aside in the French league, yeah. Marseille bought Obama Young this season, Ismail Asar. Um, thingy, Lacazette's come back. 
Bacteleon. There's about 25 players that went to Saudi Saudi this season, so there's more, there's more stars now. I mean, I mean, put it this way, I think within the next year, they're number three. Oh no, they will go ahead of Italy and Spain. Who dre- I like, I'm an Italian football fan, right? Coming from me, the, the goat's mouth himself. <laughs> Everyone knows that I'm the Italian football guy as well. Who have we got in Italian football that's recognisable? Juventus' team, who is it? We want to get rid of it. All right, Lukaku and Vlavic are both as recognisable as each other. Pogba, Federico Chiesa, Inter Milan. Milinkovic Savic is better than Rabio, though, even more recognisable than him, and he's gone off to. Uh, he rejected no, him to go no, there. No, no, I, dis- I disagree with you. It might be better. I don't, better. I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree that he's more recognisable. Absolutely, Rabio is the World Cup winner. Normal football, not just that, normal football fans don't know. I'm sorry, um, casual football fans don't know Milinkovic Savic is. Casual football fans. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was thinking they might because he was heavily linked with you lot. A lot of clubs. No, but you lot, you lot the heavy league. I was, it was Juventus and United. We needed an enforcer, didn't we? And he was the guy, man. And bro, but look, Ruben Neves has gone there. The biggest thing now. We, we, I think, I think that's a big factor. Ruben Neves going there. You know, a guy at his peak, linked to Arsenal, linked to Liverpool, linked to United. All these teams have signed midfielders. What do you feel like about the media? Sorry to cut you off. I want to know your opinion, Bashan. How do you think the media is reporting on the Saudi league? You feel like there's a bit of. Uh, I think the English media can't take it. That's what isn't it? Because the English media is the superpower in world football. The, the Premier League is the superpower. It is the Super League. The Premier League is the Super League. It has been. But I believe that once Saudi um, attract interest, and because they can't play in the Champions League, because it's not Europe, they're not Europe, mm. they're not in Europe, are they? I like this one. So, right. due to the fact that they're going to be so big now, eyes are going to be on them, like Ronaldo was the first man, and then since then, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to yeah? make a point of Ronaldo. I think the eyes are going to be so much there that everyone else is going to think, wait, hold up. Everyone's towards these teams now as well. So let's put all these Manchester United, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Liverpool, Madrid, Barca, Arsenal. Let's put all these teams together with the Al Nassers, but then the Al Antibakis. Would <laughs> 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 they, would they have the same argument as before, saying the football pyramid and the grassroots level is still going to be affected because it still will be affected. All they're doing yeah, is but money talks. It does. Money talks. Look at the money that's being chucked around in Saudi. It's because of it's because of what happened during COVID. Bro, you got no man like about this. Bro, you got man like Henderson. No disrespect to him, great player. Yeah, yeah? yeah, but you got man like Henderson earning more than money. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. What was Henderson like? His great career, he won everything. But what has he done compared to Mane to deserve a hundred grand more a week? Can I ask Stephen Gerrard if you had seven hundred grand to offer any midfielder in the world, would you have signed Jordan Henderson? Why then? No, no, I'll be real again. No hate. Wallah, there's no hate on Jordan Henderson. No, top player. We're not I mean, if Henderson, anything, right, he proved us wrong. That's the God's only truth. Henderson proved everyone wrong. 100%. Especially the, the, the rival fans, right? He's their real captain, fantastic. 100%. We always said that, yeah. I'm, I'm a general fan. Less than a majority of the soup, the bear. We'll get to that in a different podcast. You'll do that. Right. Henderson. For 700k, Gerard could have got someone else. What was he doing? He could have got Milinkovic Savic in there. He could have got Vidi Ruben Neves for his team. Why? But I I like the fact he did get uh, Henderson. But I'll, um, I'll break you there. I'm pretty sure El Etipak are not owned by... They're the not the PIF, yeah. Because the four teams that are owned by... Ahli, Hilal, Itihad and Nasser. Nasser. Right. There you go. They're and the four that where, And if you notice, that's where they're the, all the there. clubs they're all that have got... Like a bulk of talent. Each, all of them. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like you look at Ronaldo, no man's playing with Tolisca, man's playing with Mane, man's playing with uh, Teles. You look at uh, Benzema, he's playing with Kante, he's playing with. Th- you got Neves there, it's just. Malcolm it's Neves, uh, Milinkovic Savic, and Kudubali and Mendy in the same team. You've it's got much. Marez, Maximan, Firmino, uh, Kessie playing for that team now. He just got signed. And Zielinski the Verdict. Verdict. On, on the league let's itself. Move on, let's move on, on, the, on the league the itself. League. Right. You uh, said it's top five now. I, t- I say it's top five. I think in a year. Let me tell you why. I think in a year. The zone got the rights yesterday. I don't know if you read it, my message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The zone got the rights here. Yeah, that's big for the UK fans here. Second thing, those fans that are being fickle right now saying, oh, this time you're there. Back in the day when the Premier League started, it's the same thing. You need money to start off. You, you know, you need to attract it. You need to throw money at someone. And the final point I want to make is Cristiano Ronaldo, right? A lot of people are saying, it's not because of Ronaldo everyone's gone there. No, it is because of Cristiano Ronaldo, most of these players are going there. I'm not riding Ronaldo or anything here, I'm just being real. They had to sign him 
first because he's Cristiano Ronaldo. You have to understand that point. If they sign Ruben Neves first, no one goes. Maybe people are maybe, still maybe, going. Maybe they go, but, but not to the not, same not, level. Not to the extent. Second thing, Anderson Talisca has just earned his first ever Brazil call. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. People say there's no eyes in there. One He's bought the eyes there. One last thing. And it's better than MLS already. One last thing. People laughed at Ronaldo. I was going to say, yeah, I wouldn't tell it. Yeah. People laughed at Ronaldo last summer. Ah, oh, sorry, um, last winter. Yeah. Yeah? People laughed at him and says, oh, he's gone to a dead league, blah, 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 blah. Man was 38, smashed it in the Premier League again, scored 18 goals in his return. And I think in hindsight, Manchester United fans will thank him for that interview. I do, I, I, I think you will thank him already. I do. I think swear down. I mean, did you see how the energy died down after the month when Stena got everything back in order? It's like, oh, it's like the Rani thing. Remember Rani came out in that press conference and he... You need to boys there for five years, sixteen things to sort. I don't, I can't believe it. Ronaldo came out and exposed him. Everyone had this big uproar, but when he looked, when he took a step back, he thought it had to be him to do that. He had to be the sacrificial lamb. To be honest with you, if there's a voice that's going to be heard, it's going to be Ronaldo. Hundred percent, and it was heard. And you know, he's got the most followers. You know, uh, he's got loyal fans that follow him from club to club. That's how big Ronaldo is. He's bigger than the clubs. You know, like he's got fans. Even the clubs that he left. Then fans will always be his fans. It's like United, for example. Obviously, obviously with United it's different. He grew up with those. He became best player in the world with those. Won his first Champions League. Blah 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 blah. All of that. But even look, bro, I was Juve man. only spent three years there. Touched all the hearts of the Juve fans. But no, hundred percent. He's in your top bloody ten. Is he? I'm yeah, sorry. Top 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 Come on, man. That's a thirty-five year old, thirty-six year old. Joining and becoming yeah. the all, one of the all-time goal scorers for your club, mm. uh, and he was the last league title winner at your club as well. Yeah, yeah, at like a Van Persie for us. At the moment, he is. Uh, yeah. There you go. But the thing with Ronaldo is just hate. People love to hate for some reason, right? And the other thing is, like the this Eric, is the media darling. Yeah, right? obviously, and it's unfair. You can't just keep. We've got to be more. But even when you're reading media articles, when you're listening to media, when I say don't listen to the news, don't watch anything, but just have a. A, a, a sane mind first of all Second, I don't get brainwashed and fooled by everything you're listening and reading You can make your own judgement on I'm, what you want. I mean the thing is, no one but I deny it when uh, Eto moved to Russia and he was earning daft money No one but I deny it when David V and these men were off Perlo, Lampard, Gerard, Beckham No one but it shit Bro, Alright, they, right, they weren't getting paid 800 grand a week You know Rivaldo played till he was 41 And from 31 to 41, he played in Angola Greece. Mm. My point is, who's ever said anything about Rivaldo? Mm. What do we remember him as one of the greatest Brazilians of all time? Because at the end of his career, that's what you, they deserve. They're the type of players that did so much in their peak. This is the truth, mate. That they've owned football and they've got a right now that they can go spread the game wherever they want. When, when somebody offers you money, why not take it for 100%. your talents? And uh, we're moving on now. So we said that some say it'll be the top five in one year. I think in terms of recognition, not in terms of quality, I'll make it very clear. In terms of recognition, he's already top five because everyone's talking about it. We've got the UK broadcasting deal. More players are still uh, to, to, to join the league, and it's open for three weeks longer than the European window this season. I don't know if they're going to change that. I don't know. That. Joe even come know. out and he complained. I, 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 don't know I do agree with his complaint for once. I, I see where he's coming from. It is unfair to the European teams that the Saudis can still sign, throw money at these lot, and even tempt them to leave their clubs, if you know what I mean. So. Shall I be honest with you? It's all right. It's good for the team that want to get rid of players. When you want to get rid of players, it's not that bad. And that's what you were thinking there, I understand. But then what if there's a player that you don't want to get rid of and they've turned the head of that player? Well, if the money is good enough... It's going to be good enough, that's what I'm saying. No, it's it for your club, not for the man. Okay. For your club, if the fee is good enough, then... Right, okay. Premier League, Manchester United, no, let's start. go. No, no. Let's last week, we start with the top team. Manchester City. We start the champions. We, we start the order from last Community team. Shield then. Community Shield. Right, Community Shield. Uh, ask the one. I don't take anything from the Community Shield every season. I'm not just saying that to hate on any team's fans. Let's be honest. Last year, Haaland missed that three yard shot. Scored 52. And scored 50 goals. goals. To say no more. Judging and Arsenal sooner. I'm um, going to let you okay, start so first. Forget City. Arsenal last, last season surprise package um, for the title. Um, wicked team, young team, hungry. Um, best, best window? Huh? Best window? 
No. No? No. I was no. going to give them unity. Manchester and Arsenal for me are about no. the best chance for me in the world. No. Why? Eh. I mean, I said this to plenty of Arsenal fans. Kai Havertz, I don't know what he spent 60... I know Rod's going to disagree, but I don't know what he spent 65 million on, mate. I'm a fan. I'll be... I'm not, I, I, I'm not saying he's crap. Technically, on the ball, good player. He's not for the Premier League, though. You think? Maybe, maybe can be for the Premier League. How old is he? I don't know. 25. 24, 25. Yeah, 25. Yeah, maybe he can still improve. Who knows? People like to jump on Sancho. People like to jump on our players. Kai Havertz at Chelsea, other than scoring, okay, we'll give him his props. He scored the Champions League final winning goal there. But other than that, I've seen this guy miss chance after chance after chance. Last season at Old Trafford for Chelsea when we thumped him 4 0 or what, 4 1 or whatever it was, yeah. The guy had a. <laughs> A header from two yards out, he's headed it wide. I remember that. I Even in that. the community shield for Arsenal, he had two sitters. Yeah. He's missed him. He's a poor finisher. He's not good. Like, I'd say Shaka probably can bring more goals from midfield from him. I know he's probably scored eight, nine goals last season. Do you think they signed him as a forward or as a number eight? An eight, but he's he's an eight that's going to be an advanced eight. So yeah, he's yeah. going to constantly be around the box with Odegaard anyway. So for me, 65 million on him. I mean, he wasn't even Chelsea's best player. You know who Chelsea's best player was? Yeah. We've got him, Mason Hunt. He was Chelsea's best player for the last three years. Well, last season, I don't think... They were all cracked, though. No, yeah, they were yeah, all like, last year. Yeah, but... You can't pick... Oh, okay, then I'll, pick I'll, pick I'll, go, I'll go with your logic then, so I, I won't pick anyone. Yeah. I was going to say Enzo Fernandez stood out. Being a new signing. Yeah. You might say I like him too, yeah, but I know you're going to say that. I like him, I know, but... You, I, I like him, but... I thought you were going to say that I'm no, over the top of it because I don't uh, know. Havertz, um, for me, I don't think they needed him that much. 65 million, they overpaid. Julian um, Timber. Julian Timber, wow. I mean, Timber this guy would have been one of our players last summer if it weren't for Louis Van Gaal. We didn't go for him this summer, so before they start saying, oh, you know, it's target, United signing. Nah, mate, we want him for him this summer. Wan Bissaka improved, yeah? So let's get it right. Julian Timber is a very competent footballer. He's good on the ball. You can see he's an Eric Ten Hag coach player. Yeah, 100%. I gotta say, um, Modern. I loved his performance against City. He looks solid at left back. He's versatile. He's young. He's fast. He's strong. They've got one for the future there. They've smashed it. Definitely. I'll tell you, Summer, if they can't compete and if they don't stay with City, whoever in in the Champions League and all of that, he'll be off to Barcelona Madrid one day. Declan Muller, Declan Rice, good Zulita. player, good player, good potential. Potentially world class one day. A lot of people already put him in the put him in that bracket. I don't agree with that personally. I'm gonna buy. I, mean, I watched him. I watched him in the Europa Conference yeah. final um, against Fiorentina. He was he was piss poor, and I've seen him in other games where he's been piss poor. Don't get me wrong. He cupped in the West Ham side at the age of twenty. So you gotta give him his props. Look, there were other men in there. He, he could have given. No, him fair, yeah, he's, 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 he's a leader. He's, he's led. Yeah. You know, he's led well. But I feel as though. We're going to see this season what he's about and everyone's going to say, oh wait, first season, this, that, but he's been playing Premier League football yeah. for, for three years. Is, can he take the step up? So let's see what, how he does in the Champions League. Let's see how far Arsenal progress and then... Where do you think we'll they Arsenal will be in the top four again. All right. Manchester City's transfer window so far. Man City, for me, um, losing Gundogan, for me, one of the most clutch midfielders in the Premier League in the last... Four or five years. 100%, four years. 100%. Yeah. When Kevin De Bruyne would go down or when Bernardo Silva would go down, this guy would always be there, no matter what. So he's more than a Pep system player? He's more than a Pep system player because he's got the nouse. He knows where the goal is. He don't need to look at it. He can just toe poke it. And a goal against United, for example. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, At the Etihad, he's just done this little swivel and he's kind of poor poked it. I remember. Even that body in the final, it, it, he didn't think, it was instinct. It's instinct. Um, for me, Kovacic, what, what a player, yeah. Oh, he's, player, no but he's no good dugger. He's not going to bring them goals. He's not going to bring half them goals. Mark my words, he won't score half them goals. Think he in May. 100% Kobe I agree with May. that. May. No, Kobe in August. Kobe this guy's been from Madrid, Inter and Chelsea in his career. Top player. Don't get me wrong, I'd, I'd love him at United. But there's a I reason that you play him. for that many big clubs and you're already and you never, Yeah, and you're moving constantly because clearly those clubs don't want to keep you because... They see some of there, obviously, which every yeah. big club would. But it's not enough it's, for yeah. them. And I personally, I think for City, don't get me wrong, he played well in that community shield, but I, I, he's not going to be not a Gundogan. Then on top of that, they've lost Mares, yeah? Mares, for me, one of the best 
first touches in world football. Um, mm. When it comes to the cup competitions, literally, like they won the cups because of Mares, they won the FA Cup because of Mares, and they won the uh, League Cup. Previous League Cups because um, of Mares. That guy was he was clutch in the yeah. cups, even in the league. To be fair, I mean, I'm not giving him his flowers, man. He's the reason why Leicester they went to another team. Yeah. He's the reason why Leicester won the league. Yeah. That guy's one of the greatest wingers I've seen in the Premier League. 100 percent, top ten, top five, top five. I put in. I'm uh, top ten. No, top five, man. Think about it. I think about all United wingers of the years. I'm no, saying it all of all time. Overall, I'm going top five here. Yeah. Ronaldo, Beckham, Salah, who have got in the top leagues and. You know what gigs, yeah, because I, I try to forget the rape and all that shit. No, no, not that. I put gigs like midfield. So never go play 10 years in central midfield yeah, as well, true. bro. You can't take that out. True. Think about it, man. He played as much in central midfield as he did on the wing and as long as. That's true. So I put him as a midfielder, so not the winger no more. Oh, no, we got Robert Perez I put there. Okay. Perez is. Okay. Oh, no, I think yeah, yeah, no, Perez was a bad man. Okay, so City. Uh, Guardiola. Um, one, of the best, one of the best uh, upcoming centre backs in the world. I think it's an amazing signing. But at the same time, I mean, City have the best defence in the league. Like, Are they the first team to ever do the 4P? I mean, you can't, look, look. you can't look past them really because even though United have strengthened, Liverpool have strengthened, um, Arsenal have strengthened, you know, the teams have strengthened around them. And for me, they are, they are weakened. Yeah. So, so the gap that there was last season, I believe it's going to be tighter. Okay. But I still got City winning it, man. If City win it, do we have to accept that Pep has become, it? It's become a bit of a German league. It's hard to accept. I'd, say, I'd, football, say, I'd say if it goes to five. I know four's never been done. I'd say if it goes to five. Because then look, be seven, you know, you know, no, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know why I'm saying that, though? Because you can't expect Ten Hag to... Uh, Challenging Arteta. Center. Arteta should now. Come on, 93%. Biggest flop. Biggest flop in Premier League history. Declan that Rice under 5 million. 65 for uh, that, that's 170 there. Julian Timber got up to 200. And then uh, okay. David Raya today. I've uh, got an um, announcement. Another 30. Nearly. You call it 250, right? Yeah. It's just around 250. So 250 million, bro, on the back of a, a campaign where they just finished second, where they should have really finished. Even closer to City than they did, they should have won it. Let's be real, forget anything else. I'm being too nice. They should have won they it. Should they should have won it, it. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Arsenal are the ones that should be the ones to challenge Manchester City. Yeah. In, in my opinion, I do believe it's going to be Arsenal again. Okay. Only because of the fact that they've got that experience behind them. They've got that um, now, now, like, and it's the it's that young. Quartet. It's that young quartet up front. I really love it. Martinelli, Martinelli Saka, Jesus Saka, not Jesus as much. Um, uh, Erdegaard and uh, thing here. Yeah. Them, them three or four, yeah. Is Jesus complete? I mean, yeah. Jesus, let's be real, yeah. Everyone's talking about, oh, we've got the Wish Haaland, yeah. The Wish Haaland's going to score more goals than Jesus this season, in his debut season. Say that, there was a lot of energy around Jesus last season, right? No, I don't forget this, yeah. When he signed for Arsenal, we're going to win the title if we go straight to yeah, yeah. When he got injured, they go into Jesus come back. And I was and saying, then when he flopped, they go, oh, Jesus is not the guy. You, God, if, you, you, if, you, if, you, if you cast your mind back to our early podcasts, I says Rashford's a better goal scorer. And Rashford's not even a good goal scorer, yeah? Rashford is a better goal scorer than Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. And he proved it last season by scoring 30 goals and assisting 12 goals. Gabriel Jesus is a, is a top player, man. I, I'm a big fan of him. But very good. You don't stay in Sydney's team. No, 100%. Or be in that squad and win so many titles if you're not. And be count, counted on your big games. Oh, yeah. he was in the right oh, way. Yeah. Whatever, but he was the, guy's a, the guy's a little. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's a little a, bully, man. He's a clutch guy. He's, as well. No, he's, he's strong, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like Jesus. Who's rounding off the top four then? Is it Chelsea and Liverpool, Liverpool and United? <laughs> it's uh, United and Liverpool. United and Liverpool? Yeah. The two biggest teams in England. So you're saying Newcastle and Chelsea are going to miss out? Yeah. Before we move on to that, so New- uh, Liverpool's transfer window so far before we move on, because United and your team will do United at the end. We'll do those two. Alright, so Liverpool, do you want to start with us? Should I start? Liverpool. I'll start with Liverpool because you've been doing those. Okay, go on. Liverpool, that's, that's right. Right. Let's take on. Uh, Liverpool, for me, for example, they reinforced when they had to reinforce the midfield. But, but reinforcing that, 
25 million. L let me let me rephrase. Let me reword everything. They were supposed to reinforce the midfield, right? They started off doing it right. Buying McAllister, which for me is it's still the side of the summer. Side of the summer. So I'm still saying whenever I do, I, I keep saying it. In, 35 million World Cup winner, the guy's a baller. The bargain of the summer. The son of a gun's a baller. The signing of the summer. Dominic Zabuzla is a top player. 60 million. I've seen him play. I think he's a top player. I don't know if he's worth 60 million or not. I'm not getting into that. But he's a top signing and he's going to do well for him. Then they sold from Pino, Henderson, uh, Chamberlain, from Keita, and Milner. Possibly Thiago. And Thiago, possibly, possibly. to Sevilla. Bro, they've sold the whole midfield and only bought two. What is going on? Jurgen Klopp. They're going to finish outside the top four if he does not buy another midfielder. So they're finishing again outside the top four. I'm sorry. I don't care how good the strike is. I think if Kanate gets injured as well, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll tie up all my full Liverpool analysis for this season. If Kanate gets injured, what? They're in trouble. Matic's not the same I guy agree, he was two three years ago. I agree. Yeah? Kanate is one of the best centre backs in the league. Yeah. In the world, yeah. In the world, in the world yeah. One of the guys, a unit. He's I love him. He's fast, he's strong. He's what Upa Makano was made out to be. Yeah. He was the guy. Thank you. Thank you. He yeah. was the guy. He's what Upa Makano was supposed to be. He 100%. was the guy. He was the guy. Right. If it wasn't for him, Vini would have been run away man of the match that, uh, final that they won. He was absolutely destroyed right. every day. Kanata had to always come over and deal um, with the issue. So I think so. Liverpool will finish top six for that reason. If, if they don't side one more top class midfielder. If they do, they'll finish top four. I think... You share your argument. I think, um, I believe you're right, in a sense, even though I've argued top four for them, I believe you're right due to the fact that that experience, in even though could go. even though they did need to let them legs go, they let too much Too go. many? Some games you need them, but they... Fergie did it, Fergie was the master, yeah? Fergie kept scores, gigs... Um, Bro, Neville, Neville, West Brown, you know, was still West Brown, O'Shea, yeah, he kept, he kept these lot, like, even if they were just on the bench. Fringe. They were fringe at that time. It was just a matter of, not even just on the pitch, off the pitch, 100%. just being, having that experience, the fact that we've won a Premier League, we've won a Champions League, we've won a FA Cup, this is how you do it, son. Dominic, Dominic so was like, he doesn't know what it's like to play in the Premier 100%. League. McAllister, I would okay, make a point. okay, McAllister had... A wicked season, one of the best seasons from any midfielder last season. Yeah. Won the World Cup, was wicked for Brighton, was amazing in the Premier League, etc. Yeah. But you come into Liverpool now, son. This is the yeah, second biggest this is the second biggest team in England. Yeah. One of the biggest teams in the world, you know. This is it's different. For me, Fabinho was a mistake, so believe it or not. I know he was losing it, but I think in the back end of last season, Liverpool found him the good man. And see, look, you said it yourself, you know, whenever fans of Liverpool were saying it, yeah. he did improve. He didn't get back to the lighthouse levels, lighthouse for being I think, I'll be honest with you, Trent as well, moving into that midfield role helped them a bit. You know, because they weren't as exposed. Saying that, crap. yo, shit, I ain't part of that this season. No wonder they may be letting all these midfielders go, bro. You just said it? I think that's it. They, they, I think oh, they've made they're the they're decision. Good. Without even saying it publicly, like, I'll be real with you. Even that, for me, not being a hater has not to do with United. It won't be the same. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. Oh, okay. It's not yeah, enough. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with him. Yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah, that attack. The only reason I put me in my top four is because they've got a rich of a, a yeah, top of very rich. Attack. Just so rich. There's Jota there. There's uh, Diaz there. There's Jota, uh, Diaz, Salah, Gakpo, Nunes. Five all killers. Then you got McAllister feeding them. You've got this yeah, new kid. No, no, they're alright, they're alright. So, alright, we're saying, I think you'd agree with me in the end. They need to sign that top class midfielder to finish top four. And a defender. Oh, yeah. Van Dyke's Van Dyke's not one of the best defenders in the world, by the way. Not for me. He's still top 10, but he's not that guy no more. That's why I, that, I, I agree with that. He's not that guy no more. I don't know if he's top 10. He had that. What I'm going to say about Virgil Van Dyke, though, that two year period was. Fade, not being a bro. Yeah, yeah. There was a time when nobody could get past him, I admit that. Yeah. I think everyone does. But last but then season, to put him last in, season, everyone was getting past him. Yeah, but then to say, oh, Van Dyke, Vidic, Ferdinand, Terry. Behave, man. Vidic, Terry, Ferdinand, uh, yeah. Even them, forget him. They're like five, six years old. We've got your Campbells and your Cavaliers. Steve and Bruce, man. Steve, bro, he's not on that You level, need to man. know about football to know. All right, he's a better player than Steve Bruce. I'm not going to say Bruce is a bad player. Oh, defender. I'm saying longevity. 
He, he's got he's, he's got portfolio there. Even a lot of block man, okay, these lot they, they they did things. They weren't just one or two years or saying oh we were second in Ballon d'Or, we were third. May they were winning titles. And the longevity in it. Longevity. They were playing but against Virgin, in a vacuum. They were peak. old. In a vacuum in that two year peak, I put him against the Liverpool. I I take that. I'd say that. I put I put Vidic ahead of anyone in his peak. No, but that's what I'm saying. It. So, so, I still league. take Virgin in that peak. Everyone says Rio. But Vidic was an animal. Vidic only he defender them. to ever win the PFA Player of the Season back to back. Or is it the Premier League players? He won them. Yeah. Anyway, he's the only one. Right. On to uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, Pochettino's come in. Obviously, after the the six hundred million they spent last year, they've done exceptionally well in getting rid of the dead weight and bringing money in for the dead weight. Right. There's a lot of hope going around them. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of potential. Nicholas Jackson's the guy that's. Causing the way of the next video drug, but they say. Um, I've seen bits and bobs of him. From what I've seen, I think he looks good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he looks composed. He looks clinical. The numbers have changed. I don't know if you've seen this. Enzo's taken number eight. Lampard's number. Yeah. Nicholas Jackson's taken number fifteen. The Didier Drogba's number. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikhailo Mudrik's taken number ten. Eden Hazard's number. And there's another. Uh, Levi Calvert's taken number twenty-six. John Terry's number. And they've done it for that, that on purpose to tell the young players that you're not the new generation. Yeah. We're giving you the keys. Take it forward. For me, they lost their best midfield. Okay, Kovacic. The whole, the whole midfield. Oh yeah, can't get rid of it. Make some more. Oh, Mount, oh, yeah, Mount was their best player, man. You guy argue what you want. I want even a, a massive Mount one anyway. But I've seen the numbers and I've heard all the statistics. Mount was the man. For these lot every year, top assistant, top so you think theater, top everything. Chelsea gonna struggle without without them three, them three, yeah. Kovacic, Mount, and Kante. Kante wasn't done yet. People are saying Kante was done. Kante, Kante was picking injuries up. That's that's the difference. Yeah. He wasn't done. Pochettino winning a trophy, so no, he's not the league. Could he get a cup? Good question. I think the other squads are too strong. It depends how serious other people take it. Look how serious Ten Hag took everything last year. The guy wanted every cup he could win. But then if Pochettino takes it as serious, but the squad's not as good. Okay, so so you you made your mind up. Arsenal have okay. got a better squad. United right. have got a better squad. Okay. City have got a better squad. Newcastle have got a better squad. Oh, we move on to Newcastle next as the team that we're going to talk about. So we're saying that Chelsea are the top four for the plain reason, or for the main. We're not going to make Europe. Europe. They made Europe due yeah. to the fact that they're not in Europe. And because of their midfield, they won't make Champions League only Europa. Yeah. All right. That's my Newcastle United surprise back in the last season. They got Champions League football to contend with this season. It's gonna hamper them. Okay, so you've already said I it. I just have to throw it out there, there, and then. Bruno G is my guy. I just want to say, uh, for me, he's top five central midfielders in the you league right now. Know. Yeah. I said him. I think. You know about central? Central midfield. Like just, just central. Yeah, yeah, just central midfield. I'd, I'd, I'd argue that with anyone, bro. Bruno G's there. And for me, it's because of him they got to, in the top four. Oh, yeah. They bought Tanali. He's not going to play well, in my opinion, because of just by looking at his body language and everything, he doesn't look like he wants to be there. He's AC Milan through and through. I, I wasn't that convinced, but I know you lot were, and a few of you lot were. Berella's better than him. That's what I was saying. I, I you know that I look better. I wasn't I would highly convinced of Tanali anyway. And I've seen other, like, Obviously, like I think he's better than Locatelli, who we've got. Locatelli's regressed since the Euros. That's why, bro. That guy had a lot of potential after the Euros to do something. I don't know if it's because of the way we're playing our system or you know what's going on at the club. He's regressed. Barella is the best at them three. Yeah. Barella is a well-beaten one, and they were nearly buying Barella if you remember the start of the summer. I got bare cash for him for fifty million. Liverpool wanted him too. Then Liverpool when he sports Liverpool, bro. That's a big thing that if Liverpool bid for him, he's it's going sport. there. Yeah, he sports Liverpool. No, but not necessarily. Gerard is idle. Even then. Gerard, the one that recommended Nicolo Barella in 2018 to Liverpool. I swear down. Gerard knows his ballers, man. He actually said to him, you need to buy this guy because he's idle. Remember kid Aaron Ramsey and he joined Arsenal? No, the other Aaron Ramsey. The Arsenal fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's United fan, Yeah, yeah. He's back on United. Darren Bell. He's back on Sterling, hardcore United fan. Yeah, Played with the two biggest rivals. Three even, you could say Chelsea in that bracket. They're in there, yeah. They are, they are, they are. They are, they are. They are, they are. They are, they are. So Newcastle, when we moved on to them, uh, they, who they signed on other than Tanahi, man? You have to get it out, Kassel. Uh, Harvey Barnes, 36 million. Harvey Barnes. They sold Maximum for 30 to 
Um, um, I don't know if it. You know what? I'm a fan of Harvey Barnes, yeah, but I don't know if it's a massive improvement. I don't know. It's not an improvement at maximum, not to me, mate. Newcastle. I don't think so. Who's, who's in the defense one next season? They haven't signed no defenders? Well, they had a solid defense. Didn't Botman, Botman and Shah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. strong defense. Trippier was the Trippier, best right yeah, he, 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 I picked him in my was one of the yeah, best right back in the league. He made so many chances. I've been up in sick last season as well, so they still got him. We just che- uh, so we're just checking the. I'm just seeing if any if Newcastle have signed anybody else. Possibly me. I don't know why you can't. Uh, whilst he's doing that, I quickly shot my ver- verdict. Oh. So we've missed that. Livramento. Oh yeah, they just signed him. Water signing. Left back. Water, Water signing. signing. Perfect. Yeah, look at Water signing. Eddie Howe's doing well. Eddie Howe is smashing it. Yeah, man. because he's gay. And I tell you, know you what? what? You know what? Shall I tell you something? Deep down, if Pep didn't win the treble last year, Eddie Howe is the manager of the season. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And the battle of the Zerbi is between them. Uh, you have to give it to Howe? No, man, the Zerbi. How do you play? You can't just like, give it to Howe. No, the Zerbi is football. I know, I know, I know, but, I know, but you have to give it to how. Yeah. But well, they were 20th place, 18 months back. Yeah, yeah, that's how they play. 20th place, they're yeah. going to go championship. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, we want to play Champions League. Fuck you, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of championship, Champions League. Champions League. League. Change their lives. <laughs> Not in a big club. And I'll tell you something. When I was working in Newcastle, pick a custom tea, yeah. I used to meet Jordies on a regular. Bro, speak about it. They weren't even in the top four when I was working. It was last year, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I pick a custom tier, I predicted to him, as I said to him, I go, Newcastle are going to be in the Champions League within the next year. Look at that. So look, when I lived there, when, when You could see the project, you could just when see... When did I there 10 years ago? Look, the money came in, yeah, let's quick, quickly end on Newcastle, yeah. When the money came in, they didn't just throw the money, it was a stupid, structured. It was structured, Very it was structured. clever, it was Still processed, is. Yeah. it was... It was six. Isaac, six. You know, I'm, bro, I'm jealous. I'm a United fan. I watch Liverpool. I watch Newcastle in the transfer market. And I, apart from this season, this season we're doing all right. We're going on to we're we're the world next year. Yeah, star winner, man. But, <laughs> but, yeah, not yet. Yeah. He sold me, dude. Oh, Maguire, so you got the A star. I told you, Maguire goes to star, so now I'm giving it off. Stop. United winner, A star, man. But. Uh, so when you check the Brumetta, I was going to quickly say, turn them, we're not going to talk quickly. Allow them, let's go to Allow them because I'm James leaving. Harry Kane's leaving. No, he's not. They rejected the bid. He says, if a next bid hasn't come in by the time the Premier League has started, I'm staying. What's your verdict on the guy? I would have. People can say, I believe Harry Kane, man. I'm going to do it. I think deep down, he ain't got. He's, 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 a, he's a pussy, bro. He ain't got the cojones to move. He's a pussy, bro. I think he will move. I don't think, if he signs a new contract, then we can officially say that he's not. He's not he can't be put. Here. He's there. He's there. He's, he's literally, literally he's literally down here. He's looking up at Benzema to go. Yeah, he's looking up at Benzema, Ronaldo, Messi, all these boys, Suarez, Trill, 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 No, 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 he's right. Uh, even Cavani lot of Ibrahim, Ibrahim even Bro, these were saying just because they got, the they, they, they got balls. You know, Cavani's got they tried. Goal. You know, Ibra, I, you know, we always slay him here and we say, oh, he's a sheep. At least he tried. To yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to become a lion somewhere. He yeah, was a lion, but he was trying. When he's the and he's well, with Kane, bro, if he's not going to move, then he's a fucking. Bro, the shit coming out bro, of his sheep. Like he might have anyway. You know what I mean? That's I said the shit coming out of the sheep's ass. Yeah, he's done for game. So uh, that's part of the uh, yeah, Andre Post uh, I am a fan like of that him. guy. I like him. Look, both of us are fun. I don't know why. There's something about his. It, it, the way he plays football. Do you know why I like him? I watched Celtic in the Champions League last season, so. Right. And very attacking, bro. I watched him two, three times. I don't know. I'm just talking about his demeanor. Yeah, yeah, he's a big. He's a Jonah type. He's got that Jonah vibe. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, he it's holds cool. the ground. He's yeah, yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they're finishing outside the top six. Yeah. yeah, even with Kane, That's bro, yeah, 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 yeah. The top six. outside the top, I think Tottenham are going back to those levels. Not good enough, man. So on to Manchester United, we'll finish on Manchester United and then the predictions okay. as well. So they bought Mount, you bought Highland, you okay. bought Onana. So for us, McTominay is going, Maguire is going. Um, I think David De Gea, legend of the club, we'll always love him. Uh, third greatest keeper that I've seen play for United. Um, he deserved to win a bit more, but he did win everything but the Champions League, so he's a legend. Deserved um, the send-off. He's, the, he's in the top 10 appearance makers as well of all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Crazy, man. Man. He's in the top 10 of we just Most clean sheets ever league. for Manchester United. But for me, Andre Nana is going to bring something different to this team. Top 5 in Europe. Uh, I don't care when I'm not going to comment on that. No, they can you've, you've, got your, you've got your opinion, Rod at his. I'm going to let this season... Um, 
sure what Anan is about. From what I've seen so far in preseason, the guy is so comfortable on the ball, it's unbelievable. He's like a midfielder, ping, left foot, right foot, ping, left foot, right foot. I watched him for Inter, don't get me wrong, but when someone plays for your own team, it's a different. I think he started his career on the Sinti midfielder. Yeah. When he went to Ajax, Edwin Van der Sar, the one. I don't even know this. That Van der Sar that made him a goalkeeper. I don't know that. You know that? Nice fuck for you there in that country United, you know? Van der Sar made him a goalkeeper. Van der Sar's one that backed him at Ajax. Van der Sar's one that went against everyone uh, and told the, the manager at the time. And the, the, and the doping, doping thing happened. Van der Sar stood by him all the way through. And, and, the and then Van der Sar sold him to uh, Inter for the. I'm project. just surprised that Van der Sar didn't say to United, yo. That, that's what I'm saying right now. Why did Van der Sar sell him to Inter last year or two years ago instead of being. I, I think United had so much. I think De Gea was in the, just so much in the midst Gea. of his... Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to remember with De Gea, De Gea had a drop of form a few, like a year ago, two years ago for a year, a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, his shot stocking sort of came back. It did, yeah, it did, it did, it did. And even now, like, if you watched him in the Premier League last year, I think barring probably he three... Really see, that's what barring three or four... No, but there were some mistakes he made through shot stocking as well. One or two, yeah. I think that because of those ones that he made there, yeah. he let that get there. He let that get there, yeah. Plus 12 years at United, man. And he, he had 12 shit years, man. I'm, uh, not 12 full shit. Well, I've, uh, let me I'd say, I'd say he had three good years. That was wrong, three good, good years. He was there during the shit. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His 12 years coincided yeah. with the shit, unfortunately yeah. for him. And he stood by you lot and did everything. Yeah. So that's why he deserves the send off. Onana. Onana. Uh, Top five, you know, uh, The distribution to Martinez, you know, Martinez is so competent on the ball, Shaw. The whole defense is, even Wambi is a better passer now. He knows how to pass and dribble. So, with Onana spring, constantly springing out to him, pinging him out left, right, and center, I, I think that we're going to have more, more of the ball this season. Yeah. I think people can say what they want about Mount and say, oh, he's no, he was shit last year, but Chelsea was shit. I think if you look at it, is he better than Fred? Yeah. Is he better than McTominay? Yeah. Will he score more goals than Fred? Yeah. Will he score more goals than McTominay? Yeah. Does he work harder than them both? I'd say even then. Even though none of them were a slouch, I'd say yeah. I'm yeah. seeing for Chelsea. So, have we improved there? Yeah. Um, the striker, Hoyland, he's 20 years old. I want to say one quick thing on Hoyland. Stop comparing him to Haaland. Haaland that's what I was going to say right now. Stupidity, man. Um, he's 20 years old. Don't Just because his name sounds the same and they're both from Scandinavia. Yeah. Don't compare him to Haaland. And they're both blunt. Yeah. Um, and the day, Haaland was killing it for three seasons straight. He's got already had 100, 200 goals really to his name in football. This guy's only got 20, 30 odd goals in football. Yeah. Um, if you ask me, um, he, he didn't even start that many games for Atalanta last year. I've been looking at his stats. Yeah, it was 20 summer. It was 20 summer. He scored nine league goals in the Serie A, as many as Darwin Nunes scored in the Premier League. Um, for me, with better players, with a better coach, with Rashford, with Bruno providing him, with Mount providing him, Casemiro, Anthony. He was, for United fans, he was actually at the best club you could sign in from Italy at the moment, yeah. Atalanta. What I mean by that is if you don't follow Italian football, Atalanta are your Atalanta. equivalent of, in the Premier League, I'd say Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. And they've been doing it for five years now, so yeah. five they years. Well. They talk well. And what I like about him, yeah, is I don't think he's as good a finisher as Haaland, obviously, yeah, oh, okay. obviously, but his play, he's fast, he's strong, I've seen him, I watched him against Kim Min-jae, Kim Min-jae pocketed him more or less, most of it, yeah, but you should watch him against Luz. I've seen him, I've seen him come up against big men, he's a 20 year old, he's he, he he, he the guy, I know he did, he's fucking huge, he's got a presence, we haven't had a presence in that box, for a long time, Ronaldo's a big man, but Ronaldo falls over a lot. A strong and big as he is, he's not really. That's part of the game. Like he is a presence when you're crossing the ball in and he's jumping up, but he's not a presence as in. Yeah, you have not to go. Ibrahimovic. Even then, he was a Buddha that came yeah, to the Premier League. Yeah. I'm on about, bro. We have had it since Rooney and Ronaldo. This young kid that's coming, naming the or like Martial, but what did he do? Let's he's the last. Martial, that yeah, I mean. but he's staying. Okay, we started he's staying though. You're going to be signing Tony this season. I've he's, signed Tony. He's staying though. But what I'm trying to say is, Hoyland's going to be big for United this year. Um, he's not going to score over 20 goals. He'll score 15 goals. That's my prediction. 10 to 15 goals. Um, in, in, 
debut campaign. In his debut campaign, I think he'll assist quite a lot. I think he's gonna bring more to the play. So it's gonna be like when defenders are coming and rushing him, he's gonna be barging yeah, up. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Rashford running behind him, Garnacho be behind press, him. He'll be starting that press. Yeah, he'll be the one starting that press, and then you've got Rashford and Garnacho a lot taking advantage yeah, of yeah, him. Yeah, 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 They're yeah. gonna soak up his play, and I think well, you've with Amrabat coming in. Oh yeah, I've got to mention that. Inshallah, with Amrabat coming in, Maguire and um, McTominay and Fred and Van de Beek leaving, I think Ten Hag's had a stellar window. I won't say A star. A star would have been if we got Harry Kane and Hoyland, in my opinion. You'd have Hoyland as the backup because you can't expect to put so much pressure on a 20 year old mm. that's come to play for Man United. But the only reason why I think he's going to succeed, well, not the only, but this is a big factor, yeah. He wants to this guy's been years. this guy's been dreaming of United since he was a kid. Yeah, he, yeah. he he follows Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got that work ethic. He's got that mentality. He's got that drive. I think Hoyland is going to be a big star in three years. Yeah, those of you that play football manager know that he's the best striker in football <laughs> manager twenty three. <laughs> he actually is. had a Bruce Dortmund season. Yeah. A boy in Montreal. I was telling you this. He's got one hundred fifty goals, even sixty games. So man, that's how I know Hoyland's a bad man. Well, football manager only translated <laughs> real life of his life. So I'm gonna finish the podcast. Well, we're gonna finish up now within these last five minutes. I'm just gonna give a quick rating what I think, and so will give his rating on every team and every team's transfer window so far. Just in the Premier League, the next podcast, inshallah, inshallah, we'll be doing on Friday or Saturday. Uh, the first Premier League games on Friday. Man City, so, Burnley. Yeah, Man City, Burnley. So what's the prediction? Uh, Man City to win the first game. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna give a score. Predictions for the season: City to win the title, Arsenal to finish second. I think United will finish third, and I think Chelsea will finish fourth or Newcastle. Because of if Liverpool buy that midfielder, they finish fourth. I've said that already. My so top four. It's on Liverpool buying that midfield. Man City to win it. I think if we get Amrabat in, right. I think if we get Amrabat in, it'll be between us and Arsenal for second. Okay. And last spot. So United, Arsenal, second, third. Whoever does it, yeah. Liverpool, in Liverpool. fourth is Liverpool for me. Uh, they came so well, why close. Why that midfielder? But they came so close last year. They had us shit in it. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Yeah. 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 Well, it was also not Newcastle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Till we obviously won our games, then we just went on a winning streak. Yeah, yeah. But um. Liverpool's attack's too strong. I think if they can sort the defence out, in my opinion, I think the midfield's 50-50. We've got to see what this Dominic kid's about. We know what McAllister's yeah, about. Yeah. Trent in midfield's good. He's still a shit defender. Uh, Van Dijk's still overrated. Robertson wasn't good last year. Oh. I thought he was one of the best left-backs in the world a year or two ago. We'll see how the defence gets someone. Alisson's probably you, you, one. You'd still if, him. if not the best keeper in the world, he's... Top three. Yeah, he is top three. Uh, will you give uh, so they got top? So top I three. give them uh, for their transfer window so far. I'll give them. Um, I give them a B, B so far. Yeah. A B. I give Chelsea a B. I well. give Arsenal a B. I give B plus, Arsenal a, a plus. B plus. I give you like A start with Maguire. I give us not an A. And I give C a C bro. And I give yeah. Newcastle an A. Yeah. They're already strong. And C is a C. Game Canali and Liverpool. C is very satisfactory. Bro. C for me is a B. I think Pep minus, B minus. Pep's happy. Not that way, I think Pep's. I think B minus. Because look, they said, do you want to get rid of Bernardo? He goes, no. They go, do you want to get rid of Kyle Walker? He goes, no. And sometimes, you know how he is normally with players that are leaving. Like, he always lets them leave. I mean, Kyle wanted to go by him. But now he was there. Now Pep's saying, no, 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 he took him. No, he took him out for dinner. Eh? He took him out for dinner. Who took who out? Pep took Kyle Walker out for dinner. So? To convince him to stay. I'm, I'm not taking piss. That's his interest. Customer being real. <laughs> you took him out for dinner, I'm not taking customer. I'm not taking... <laughs> Bro, you know, I don't get this. You know, I'm laughing, right? Well, I'm only, only, I know this one no, 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 no. It's only three months ago that Pep Guardiola came out press conference and said, This guy's not good enough to play my, my defense anymore. Okay. Remember that? That was a clever. That was a clever. Psychological quote. I'll, I'll be real. Press conference. I'll, I'll be real with you. He's one of the best right backs ever. You know, Rod. Ever. I blame you. We seen him in traffic center. Remember that? We could have gone up to him, asked him for an autograph and a picture. Ever. But I was to get his only kind of ever. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only. He used to be a purse we, merchant. We, 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 as football fans, you only have that kind of perception or that thought. That you only want Kyle Walker because he played for Tottenham. Bro, straight up and he's only a pace. Bro, this guy's pocketed every winger in the world. Everyone. 
And no, Vinny, he's not. Vinny Junior was yeah. struggling like fuck, bro. And he was a smoke last that season. Yeah. And bro, he couldn't get past him. And at the end, I think he got maybe he did get past him once. Bro, he's not, he had to There's a point where you had to go up to him and say, "You know what? You're yeah. so sick." I see that. I see that. Come on, but bro. He, but the guy got the all yeah, all yeah, come. And he's fighting. He lost a bit. He lost a bit of pace. And he's still faster than everyone else. Rashford struggles against him. But everyone does it, right? Every match he struggles. Mbappe struggles against him. Mbappe is the one that has done the best against him, though. Yeah. In it, even it, because he he had to get somebody else to help him with Mbappe. And, and uh, nobody he doesn't do that. Sometimes Liverpool wingers do. Mm-mm. In the past. Mane, you said, kill this guy. Yeah, Mane. At the start, Mane so, had this guy. Had, only do it, I know. You the only at... reason, the only reason is because Mane matches him for pace and for athleticism. Yeah, he's strong. No, but Mane's a killer, man. Yeah. Always, we used to be worried that he's walking against Mane, man. That was the only one. But he's he's probably one of the best right backs of all time. Definitely. There you are. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've given you the first podcast of the new season. Jazakallah. Please comment, like, subscribe. You know this. And yes, share you know what to do. Share, share it, share please, it. as well. That's very important. We'll be giving you plenty more as the season progresses. Just a lot. Bro, that was about 40 minutes.